subsidy, for example, which has been a subject of discussion over the weekend. Will you get in there and act like uh, 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 William Ruto in Kenya and just remove subsidy immediately? Or you will also say, oh, it will be faced withdrawal. We have to go step by step. When I said that subsidy in Nigeria is organized crime, repeatedly, by that I mean that 50% of it doesn't exist. And there's been there's studies that prove that. Ruben, we're about 220 million, like I said, between 210 and 220 million. Pakistan is about the same size. There's no way we can be consuming about 66 million liters of fuel daily when Pakistan is consuming consuming 20, about 21, 22. And with the same population, they have more roads for my only two studies than we have. They have similar number of vehicles. So what are we doing with the extra? So if we are doing 22 million, how can we be doing 66 million? These are things that is worrisome. That's the things we are not to look into. So by the time you remove this, you find out the quantity, you're dealing with is less. And then you ask yourself, is it better for me to go? That's what Nigerians want to see. Is it better for me to still put well today, say the budget, we are told that it's going to cost about six trillion because half year budget next year is three point something trillion. That means the fear is gonna be call it six trillion. So by the time you remove out of that six trillion, you remove maybe three. The question now will be, is it better?